Hey, how's it going? Well, for a lot of people right now on YouTube, things aren't going so well. Particularly those who make a living from uploading videos that are not considered advertiser-friendly. Advertiser-friendly as in, they're not something that would be able to be shown on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, etc. So these same kinds of standards you find on network television in order for the advertisers to want to put their ads on those things, those same standards are supposed to be what's on YouTube. And the thing is, Google has, let, has not been enforcing those things for years. They were supposed to, but they haven't been. And now that they are, people are freaking out. And understandably. Um... Because a lot of people are going, well, you know, look at all these years that people have been making these kinds of videos and they're, they're monetized and, you know, why, why me and why this now? And <sighs> some people have said that people like, uh, what's it, Sensei Ashimatazu and Gazi Kodzo. Oh, well, they're monetizing some of their videos. Uh, maybe some of them, but any of the ones that are caustic, you don't find ads on those. Those those videos are not ad, are, do not have ads on them, and on Gazi Kodzo's video, I don't see ads on any of his videos. There's a few of Sensei Ashimatazu's videos that you see that you see ads on, but they're the ones that aren't really caustic. They're not the racist, nasty, just shit ones, right? Those don't have ads on them. So to those that are making the argument that some of these people are, are you know, are monetizing their, their really hateful stuff, well, that's not actually true. So this is affecting everyone. Um, now, when it comes to when YouTube actually does uh, censor people where their videos get taken down, yeah, they're, they've, not been, uh, they've not been even handed about that. But that's a different, that's a different discussion altogether. Okay, this stuff that's going on right now with videos being demonetized, where it's going to be very negatively affecting people, some people are going to have to, some people are going to stop making videos, some people are going to have to get other professions, you know, because some people have been very, very good at making uh, a, these videos that have become so popular that they've made so much money on and people are making a living from, and a lot of these people are going to leave. A lot of these people are going to leave the platform because they're like, well, I'm not going to have time to do this anymore because I'm going to have to work a different type of job. Okay, that's going to happen, and it sucks. And it's going to be sad to see a lot of these channels go. But that is what's happening. And the reason why I think this is happening is that the advertisers are pressuring Google and saying, look, okay, we're tired of this. If you don't start enforcing these rules, we're pulling out. And if the advertisers pull out, everyone loses. If the advertisers pull out, Google would probably have to stop the whole uh, AdSense, uh, 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 ad sharing altogether. They would probably have to pull that altogether. And then eventually YouTube would go down the drain. It would... It is. It would be something Google would no longer be able to make money from. Everyone would suffer. If the advertisers pull out, everyone suffers. This is a fact. This isn't conjecture. This is a fact. YouTube would not survive if the advertisers pull out. Let's just think about that for a moment. And, I mean, the only chance you really have of changing any of this is not by bugging Google but it's by bugging the, the advertisers. Because the advertisers are the customers. Video makers, we're not the customers. We're the users. Okay, the advertisers are the customers. Now on, on, on uh, video sharing sites like Vimeo, yeah, the people who make videos are the customers. Because if you want to upload a, more than a certain amount of videos, you have to pay Vimeo. Now they do give you these options where you can make money from your videos, but initially you have to pay Vimeo. Okay, that's how that works on that platform. That's why they're so much more uh, receptive to when their customers have complaints. Of course, it's also because they're much smaller, obviously, 
but you know um so this situation sucks but the one thing that it is not is censorship okay demonetization is not censorship you know it, 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 when google actually removes people's videos you could call that censorship you can't call that a violation of your first amendment rights but you can call that censorship the stuff that's the demonetization demonetization of videos you can call it fucked up you can say it's going to destroy a lot of people's lives yes all that is true but you can't really reasonably call that censorship so now there is a silver lining to this and that is that those who want to talk about controversial subjects those who want to make harsh content have to do it on their own accord have to do it because they want to spread awareness it's no longer going to be something that they can do to make money this will improve some elements of youtube but that's not a it's a silver lining the rest of it is crap so it's going to be interesting to watch this there are some parts of it that i i hate to admit but i'm it's going to i'm going to be getting out the popcorn just watching how bad this actually gets but uh just again think about the fact that if the advertisers pull youtube is done 